The Titanic met her doom on a frigid April night in 1912. The disaster claimed 1,517 lives and sank the most luxurious ocean liner in history, along with a lot of precious cargo that amounted to more than $4,000 of that time. Apart from the essential items like food and beverages, Titanic's cargo hold contained around 3,364 bags of mail, a copy of the Rubaiyat encrusted with jewels, 34 cases of golf clubs, and more artifacts and books. But the most expensive item on board was an automobile owned by William Carter. Find out more about the car in this video. The only automobile aboard the doomed Titanic was a 1912 Renault Type CB Coupe de Ville owned by William Carter. The 36-year-old wealthy heir to a coal and iron fortune purchased the Renault while traveling Europe with his wife Lucille and their two children. The family had traveled from the US to England aboard the Lusitania in May 1911 and had originally booked return passage aboard Titanic's sister ship, the Olympic, scheduled to depart on 3rd April. They decided to stay another week and purchase tickets aboard the Titanic, departing Southampton on April 10 along with their maid, manservant and chauffeur. The night of the sinking, William Carter and his family were separated in the chaos. Mrs. Carter, the children and their maid boarded lifeboat 4 while the men stayed behind. As one of the last lifeboats was lowered, Mr. Carter stepped aboard on the collapsible sea with another male passenger, J. Bruce Ismay, chairman and managing director of the White Star Line which owned the Titanic. Carter's manservant, Alexander Keynes and his chauffeur, Augustus Aldworth, perished. Aldworth was the last person to drive the luxurious Renault when he chauffeured the family to the docks in Southampton. William Carter and Bruce Ismay were heavily scrutinized and branded as cowards for getting into lifeboats instead of going down with the ship. Lucille Carter also filed for divorce from William, claiming that he abandoned them on the Titanic and they met directly on the Carpathia, the ship that rescued the survivors of the Titanic disaster. The Renault was stored in Titanic's portside Orlob deck storage area, which was one of the first areas to get flooded. No known photographs of the Titanic car exist. Several expeditions have attempted to locate the car, but none have been successful. In the James Cameron documentary Ghosts of the Abyss, they managed to get to the part of the cargo hold where the car was placed. In the debris, the camera comes upon objects that look like a fender and a wheel but the condition of everything has undergone massive deterioration and it is difficult to speculate if that's the actual car. For the 1997 Titanic movie, a replica of the car was requested by James Cameron and 20th Century Fox. They looked for Carter's original documents for the vehicle and the car was recreated almost exactly. However, the car was reportedly being transported inside a crate so access to the car was probably not possible, which also means that certain things would not have happened inside the car. Thank you for watching. If you found the video interesting, hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.